even though the cameras are getting more and more intelligent and lots of the things that we used to do with the remote is not necessarily needed anymore because the cameras can do framing and capturing the whole room like this is doing and then let's walk a bit closer and see if it's gonna frame myself again so these are some of the features that we can do on the camera itself but let me invite you into my room and then say I'm gonna have a meeting but I want to control my camera actually before the meeting so without any additional controls we have a program that you can install directly on the Microsoft Teams rooms which will make it possible for you to actually do the camera controlling directly on the Microsoft Teams rooms so let me hit that button that means, and let me drag the console a bit closer so you can see, this means that my camera on the system, not the one that I'm using, but the one that I'm gonna connect to soon, is having group framing on. I can switch to speaker framing if it's needed for only capturing the one that speaks during the call. Or I can do the new people framing, which means that I would frame each individually and then do the people framing dragging them even closer so let's start off with group framing this is what i prefer captures all the people in the meeting room no matter if you are two people or if you are five people so let me go out so i selected the way one the thing that I want to do with my meeting system and then I can go back and then I can start my call. So when I connect back to my video call and as you can see I'm already connected with two other systems. One of them is on a PC and that's why it's a fit to frame. I'll fill the frame and then I'm connected to a room system, a Poly X50 and that's why it's fitting the whole frame so you can see all the people in the meeting room so right now the picture but that we want to be looking is at is that small thing down here in the corner so that's the thing that we can control the camera but another thing that we can do is controlling the camera during the call so if we want to do that we want to hit the three dots so the menu and the microsoft teams rooms and then we can go to room controls so the room controls here take you right back to the place where you are before the call and here you can say no i don't want the camera to do framing by itself now i want to actually control it myself so if you do that then you would be back to the manual camera settings where i can move my camera around and do like this oh you can't really remove or do the EP to set before it's actually uh, zoomed in a bit so of course you need to do that and since it's doing a uh, digital zooming just hold the button that's the easiest part and then when you have uh, found the place that you want to go then you can do a preset so if I hit the preset button then it's gonna save the one and I can even if you hit the three small dots beneath it, then you would be able to change the name of the preset. So as you can see, I've set a preset all the way to the back. So if I hit that one, then it's going to point all the way in the back. Or I can point at this one, uh, the presenter, and then it will go to me as the presenter. So these are some really really cool features that you can do on the Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows so the application is free of charge just go to our support site and search for camera control and then you would be able to find this great controller and that would make it possible for everyone doing the call to actually control everything in the meeting on the cameras so let me see what actually happens if I disconnect these calls let me see if I can have a uh, Full picture of my room so now it's it's not the camera connected because that is the x50 so let me remove that guy from the meeting and then I would have full view of myself so this is actually the e70 camera 
doing the framing right now. It is in a 21 by 9 screen, so great for uh, front row if you want to do that. A bit odd to see that when nobody else is here. Uh, but besides that, then you would have the ability to do the framing. So let me take you back to the room controls so you can see a bit further on how it actually can be done. So if I zoom all the way out, then I can do like this. I can take it to the back, all the way down there, or I can hit it on the presenter and then I would be straight into the call. Of course, you want to take it back to the tracking. My preferred is group framing. You can also do people framing if, if that's a thing that you want to do which basically means that it will capture each person and then make it into two different pictures. And since I'm having a screen with mirror over here, you can see that it actually also uh, connects me even though that I'm just one person here. But just to get an understanding on, this is actually people framing. You can also change the name of the camera. So instead of having the name as the camera, so E70 might not mean a lot to other people. It is actually possible to change the name of the cameras, so that makes it a lot easier for, for the people to use the controlling of the system. So, thanks a lot for watching. Just a short notice on how it's actually possible to do framing changing your camera controls directly on the Microsoft Teams, Rooms and Windows, application free of charge, just go to our support site. Thank you so much for watching. See you out there. Bye.